Whoa, okay, it's me again, out and about, I believe, I believe I'm here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, okay, I didn't fall. Yeah, uh, anyway, all right, a couple of videos on my mind. Still on the free will thing, and combine that with maybe. Uh, to be serious, did a horribly pretentious video where she implied all kinds of things, but of course would directly state nothing and talked about how many planets NASA has discovered, all the brilliant scientists at NASA, you know, who, you know, basically faked a, a arsenic experiment, but we won't talk about those NASA scientists. But anyway, you know, you know, there's billions of planets really close to us. I guess we just asked the question, well, why aren't they sending any messages to us then, if all those planets have people on them and everything? Anyway, <laughs> yeah, and uh, bead curtains came to mind. Uh, so anyway, the, the free will thing. You're basically saying here that this is just, uh, I, you know, the, I, I, use, I keep using these metaphors and I've probably got to come up with another one. But it's sort of like a tornado, <laughs> you know, that we're caught up in. Um, this thing that has a mechanics to it. Uh, but it's just mechanics. It looks like it's doing something completely crazy, but of course there's mechanics there. And uh, it has this progression appearance. So let's just talk about the progression. Because we, we're evolving. Um, and so that, that's sort of connected sort of to freedom in a way, right? I mean, you sort of think of this, you know, that somehow the evolution is releasing something, opening something, expanding something. Um, but what is just happening is, is well, here, I used to sentence uh, in, in a re uh, remark to the modern mystic, he's sort of um, uncertain of his future in this conversation, uh, because Fred woo-wooed on him. <laughs> yeah, it was, he really did just pull it out and take a piss. But whatever, it's, you know, Fred is, a mystic thinks he knows what he's doing, but I don't think he knows what he's doing. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Mystic is really sensitive. Um, yeah, <laughs> he, he does like things to go his way. Uh, anyway, um, and this is all very futile, so maybe you just have to be an asshole to keep engaging in conversation with humanoids uh, about the fact that they've just been programmed by a circumstance. I mean, why do you think commercials work on you idiots? <laughs> you know, why do you think you idiots are using the Chrome browser uh, when every bit of sensible logic says don't get anywhere near that thing? Uh, it's got Big Brother cooties so bad. But anyway, uh, these are all... Ooh, don't like all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, right in the head with that, huh? But what are the odds? Nothing. <laughs> anyway, I'm just blustery today. Maybe I'll get wiped out. Ow! Sorry, triggers. Because of the stream created by my neighbors. Cause and effect. They spend $500,000 <laughs> yeah, on their backyard. Oh, I just think of all the dead people basically their yard is made out of. Um, anyway, um, geez, this really is horrendous washout they've caused me. Great grief here as I have to cut a new path for myself, apparently, um, which is, you know, kind of burdensome, because I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to have to. This all will have to go, so I will be able to go through here and around there, so I'll just end another four miles to my walk because of the fucking neighbors. It's probably their fucking dog that's eating my cat's food, too. It's really irritating. They really are becoming a blight, damn neighbors. Bastard fuckers. Anyway, what was I? See, this really is a lot of water. Damn it. I mean, it's washed out the whole frickin' path. I have to go a whole new route. Shit. Alright, anyway. <sighs> Fortunately, it meanders that way. It really is turning into a stream. Anyway, what was I? Yeah, stream, right, exactly what's happening to us. 
it's a stream of uh, progression uh, and uh, um, yeah that's what we're caught up in and so through time we do these different kinds of evolution uh, and we've progressed to the this, what some people might call the ultimate tool of the gladiator in the battle of so the selection competition, uh, which is consciousness. And so we've maximized that by acquiring uh, a consciousness that can be logical. And unfortunately, most people aren't using it logically, but you can see logical progression over time. And that's why I brought up the, the, the beaded door. Like we, because we're intelligent, we've come up with the obvious. I mean, we've come up with swinging doors. You say, oh, that's kind of a hassle because it opens up and dents my Queen Anne furniture or something. Or someone smashes against the wall and the doorknob blows a hole in the wall or some kind of other bullshit. What the fuck kind of track was that? That's big. <laughs> oh man, man, there's bears in my woods, I don't think it's a bear, small bear if it's a bear, I could probably take them on, I ain't afraid, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna look around though, that's what I'm gonna do, anyway, alright where was I, beaded, yeah, so we come up with these ideas, we say let's engineer some other solution, let's engineer, and so they come up with beaded, and, you know, eventually we do the pocket door thing, like Star Trek, and blah, blah, blah. And that's what we do. We, we take things to their logical uh, progression and then conclusion. And that's the whole catch here. It's the logical conclusion is, uh, yeah, we're just freaking pawns in the evolution of memes. You're just a little idea transference device. Uh, you're just a, a block uh, that will become a, a piece of history and uh, to build a wall to nowhere. You've heard the bridge to nowhere? Well, you're the wall for nothing. <laughs> you're the, the, you know, uh, the brick toilet that no one will ever use. Uh, you're nothing. You're part of something that has nowhere to go. It's just going to wrap itself up in its, in its evolution, uh, maximize its tools, become the ultimate gladiator, and then just stand in the arena and go, I'm ultimate gladiator, I'm ultimate gladiator, and then that's it. There's nothing else to do but stick the knife in your own fucking head. It's over. So once you become smart enough, as I've said before, this tic-tac-toe game can't be played anymore. It's just too stupid. <laughs> it's too stupid to, to play this game. To, to kill the smart uh, so you can give birth to the dumb. <laughs> you know, and re-educate them again and re-meanify them. Uh, just so they can add a, a couple of ounces uh, you know, to the tons of historic knowledge. So you can just build up to this magnificent crescendo of saying, oh, I get it. It's just contrived need, because we're biological organisms, we've been contrived with these mechanisms of desire and want, scheme, schemerosity, so we can eke our way down the little path and chomp our little goodies along the way uh, to go absolutely nowhere. And in all probability, we will get squashed by the squeaky tree or some other thing before we even reach the end individually. Uh, there's no such thing as a truly natural cause of death uh, in the sense that, I mean, they're natural, but they're, they're all event-driven. You could always live one more minute, <laughs> you know. If you just change a couple of cellular catastrophes, uh, change a little minutia, uh, you know, and you can squeak out. Fuck, you could hear that one. That might be a gun. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, guns are better than trees. <sighs> Fuck. So I'm gonna get shot by some fucknut 
I got squashed by a fucking tree. All right, anyway. Windy. I hope it's not too bad for you folks. They're in Interland. Inter interland. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I know this is a concept that I really got to flesh out. This whole idea that what we're doing is kind of inevitable. Uh, it's what logic does. It filters. It filters. And we sort of brought that up in the previous video. But it's a good point. Uh, we, we filter through these reflexes. That's what reflexes end up kind of doing. It's filtering. They trigger when there's this much impact. Don't trigger when there's that much. They test it and then they react. And so our brain is a tester. And uh, when certain thresholds are met, it reacts. And it produces something like a guilt feeling or a, a desire. And uh, depending on how, how strong that is, what threshold it reaches, it'll trigger some other reflex where you'll have a whole chain of thought, go through some memories, deepen your emotion, and provoke some new related uh, conception or idea regarding possible behaviors that you know that you not only can logically deduce but you can also just steal them you can just say well what did you know Benjamin Franklin do when this happened you know you can just do the what would Jesus do or say and you can just say oh I'll do whatever he said or whatever he did and that's how we function and all this glorification of our little oh look how we can feel the air between my fingers ooh I feel the air and all this this mushy gooey gloppy conversation about what we're doing consciously it's just crap because what we're doing subconsciously is mechanical predictable uh, it's, it's there the psychology has been, you know, even in our primitive state of our intelligence, we have dissected a ton of human psychology. I mean, we know how to fuck somebody up. I mean, if you could, you know, if you could legally conduct the experiments, you can make yourself a mass murderer. You can make yourself a psychopath. Uh, it's not that hard. Just take away the little warm tit at the right time, and bingo, crazy person. Uh, so this is just so irritating. Uh, that, you know that. Well, it's not that. I mean, everything's irritating. But this is just the, the basic structure of what we are. And uh, you know that people just keep clinging to some reason to think uh, they're not just a redundant piece of fodder. Uh, you know, they're just fertilizing the next generation of feudal, uh, ego, maniacal, loony fucking ticks. Uh, and that's what the majority of you fuckers are. Uh, you're dumb. It's not that sorry, but that's just the truth. Your filter sucks. <laughs> you know, it doesn't do logic very well. Uh, it certainly doesn't fairly assess your own importance very well. That program certainly isn't running. The self-reflexive, people keep using that terminology, self-reflexive. Hey, you fuckers are very self-reflexive. You're all self-aggrandizing, self-glorifying, self-obsessed. I mean, if you don't feel it, <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> you know? So, you can't even get simple concepts, like understanding utilitarian uh, perspective. Uh, you know, that one of you doesn't equal ten of them. <laughs> you know, so, or some other kind of bullshit like that. So again, you keep thinking you're running a profit in life, but you're not assessing the real price of your life. The billion other sentient organisms that are struggling on this planet right now in this cold. Where are all the little critters? 
Oh, that's right. Shivering their ass off somewhere. <laughs> you know, going, oh shit, I can't live another day of this. I can't live another day of this. And they're just fighting through it. And they'll, they'll come out every now and then and they'll pick at this crap on the ground. Just desperate for anything that might be edible. Anything. <laughs> you know, it's pitiful. It's disgusting. That's life on this shithole. And all this glory talk. Yuck. So anyway, I didn't want to mix these two subjects, but it's hard for me not to. It's, it's all related. It's all, there's one mechanism happening here. A denial of reality. Uh, a denial of the negative truth of it. That it's made out of negative. It's made out of broken. Uh, that keeps trying to fix. Uh, just like the matter itself is seeking its home. <laughs> uh, and that's, the, that's what's happening here. And, and it's just this... If you take the bullshit out of your head, these little notions of accomplishment and purpose, these silly little uh, distractions, the truth is so obvious. It's just dirt and mud and muck, slime. It's disgusting what's going on here. The carnage, the mouths and the aneuses. It's mouth and anus all over the damn place. Uh, why glorify that? Uh, in this tiny little segment of the planet, our little wheels are turning with higher and bigger notions. But they're just logical notions. So they will reveal eventually the game to be the fraud that it is. They will see that it's tic-tac-toe. It's only a game to be played by idiots, morons, dupes, retards, ill-informed, uninformed, ignorant, style masses. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Excuse my French. They're a rock handy. So I really can't. If I jump on that one, I'm going to fall off. For sure. So then I have to jump all the way to that one. Oh, fuck it. Ooh, wobbly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now my toe is now feeling connected to the world. I can feel my consciousness seeping through my toes into my damp sockness and through my sneakeroid into the earth itself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Forget about the hundred brilliant neurons in my brain. We'll just concentrate on what I feel like. Ugh, crap. People. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Wow, hand got cold. Should have switched before. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, shit. I hate the body life at the moment. Well, I don't hate it, but uh, I don't like it much. It's not like horrifically offensive, but it's like got... Uh, yeah, it's got like a snot nose and sticky fingers and he wants to shake my hand. And I'm like, ooh, stay away from me, you creepy, disgusting thing. Ugh. Yeah, I do not want to sleep with my life today. My life today. Go outside. <laughs> yeah, go outside, life. Go out there, consciousness. Go play with the retards. Stay away from me. Use this bag of shit. Okay. I think I'm done. Yep. Oh. Another brilliant video in the can and such. So until the next time. Yeah, that's the branch up there too. It would appear. Yeah, it's kinda windy.